top five villains in One Piece. Coming in at number five, Igra Belushi. Now you may be wondering why Igra Belushi. Uh, one part of it is because I really liked the arc. Two, because I felt he did a great job at villain with his determination to capture Nico Robin. Also, let's be honest, part of it is his fight with Luffy. That fight with Luffy was amazing. He did a great job. He entertained me. He was very determined to catch the ring Robin. He also showed that he was very serious at his job. He was also a trained assassin and he would have killed anybody who got in his way. And as I said before, his fight with Luffy. No more needs to be said. That is my most fan considered the best fight in the series, if not one of them. And almost everybody can agree it is probably Luffy's best fight in terms of the way it was choreographed drawn in the manga and in the anime is just perfect. They could win Luffy on the other gears. Great, great villain. But let's move on to number four. Coming in at number four is Akainu or Sazuki. Now before you all come from my head, hear me out. The reason I have Akainu at number four is because when you really think about it, in the end, Akainu was just doing his job. In Marine Ford, yes, he killed eight. Yes, he is partially responsible for Whitebeard's death because he did injure him. I mean, the manga Whitebeard lost half of his head, and I do believe he may have had it. He may have been able to beat Blackbeard to get out of there alive if it wasn't for Akainu wounding him. But the point is, is that, and you really look at it, he was just doing his job. He's an amazing villain. He has, he killed the main character's brother. He's responsible for that. He killed innocent people all the time. But a great example is when uh, the civilians at Ohada were escaping, he destroyed the evacuation ship, and his excuse was, and I quote, there could have been scholars on it, so I had, so I killed them. That was it, pretty much. I'm paraphrasing, but that was exactly what he said. He killed them because there could have been scholars on the ship. He also is very strongly believing in his own sense of justice. We noticed because of how he killed, uh, a Marine during the War of the Best. He killed a Marine just because he ran away from the battlefield. Now, moving on to number three. Coming in at number three is Blackbeard. Now, the reason I have Blackbeard at number three is mainly due to how great of a character he is. Blackbeard is the opposite of the main character. He's the opposite of Luffy. While Luffy wants to be Pirate King, he has morals. He has things that he won't do. So that Luffy would never had to even consider murdering Whitebeard at the expense of becoming a pirate king. He would have been like, no, there's another way to do this. I don't need to hide behind somebody and kill them and kill my comrades and take their devil fruit. Luffy wouldn't do that, but Blackbeard did. That's the thing. They're opposite, which is great. Blackbeard is also the responsible for Ace's death because he turned Ace in. Blackbeard is also a conniving bastard, and overall is a jackass. I mean, the way he was talking to Luffy and it fell down, he was mocking him. He, he even said, oh, you want to know why your brother's going to die today? I love this line, by the way. You want to know why your brother's going to die? Because he was protecting you from me. I wanted your head, and he fought me over that. He was pretty much like, if he wasn't afraid, he would be dying today. Which, you know, he rubbed that in Luffy's face. And he's always gloating. Like, he even, when he's talking to Luffy on Dress Rosa, he's like, my man, my man Jesus over here is gonna win the Mara Mara no me. Like, you're not gonna get his fruit. I'm going to, it'll be like having Ace in my crew. Too bad he didn't accept his position, and he fought to protect you. I mean, I love this guy. I, I don't actually like him, but he's just a great villain. Amazing villain. Really good. And honestly, you're only gonna get better, because eventually his role will become bigger. Now, coming in at number two, a crocodile. Now, before you all go in the comments and say they hate on me, let me explain. I, you probably already know who number one is, but let me explain. Crocodile is a great villain, alright? Crocodile was the first villain in the series to actually defeat Luffy legitimately. There were, I think Kuro may have beaten him once, but it wasn't really a real defeat. Just knocked him down for a bit. Crocodile, however, beat him three times. He beat Luffy three times. Well, no, technically he beat him two times, and it took Luffy three times to beat him. But you see my point. He beat Luffy on multiple occasions, which is great. No one beats Luffy. He rarely loses, which is kind of annoying. But 
He beat Luffy three times. He and he mocked Luffy the whole time. He multiple times told Luffy, "You had not mastered your Delifer." And it, amazingly, that line played in again way later. Now we get it played into the whole Do Flamingo line about awakening and how Luffy doesn't have an awakening, does not have an awakening, <laughs> and Do Flamingo does have an awakening. It played in way further down the line. His goal. Also, Crocodile's goal was amazing. His goal was to take a country and then start a war between two people. So like a civil war and it was, it was so good. And then become the king and then use his power and have Nico Robin decipher the Poneglyph. So he could, uh, you know, new basic weapons like take over the world or something like that. Great villain. Amazing villain. I love Crocodile. Alabaster is an amazing arc. And honestly, the only reason it's amazing is thanks to Crocodile. But, now let's move on to number one. Because I picked Crocodile as number one, I'm assuming most of you... I mean, n number two, I mean. I'm assuming most of you know who number one is. Because this has been a debate for a very long time. But before I go forward, I want to say, this is my opinion. But number one is... The Heavenly Demon, Don Quixote, Do Flamingo. Now... Before you come at me, I want to explain something. Do Flamingo is pretty much crocodile, but successful. He took over the country and he ruled it. He became a king under false ground. He pretty much did crocodile just stronger and did it right. He did not screw up. He turned the, the country against the, against their king. He almost he keeps the distance. Like when he uses that puppeteer technique. On um, people, I still, even though I don't like Rebecca and don't take the scene very seriously, when Rebecca, when he was controlling her body and making her walk towards a member of her own family and was about to make her murder Violet herself, I was just thinking, this guy's a scumbag. If I could, I would just punch him right in the face. God, he's a good villain. God, I love this guy. Because I hate him, and you're supposed to hate a villain. That's the thing, it's different when you legitimately hate a character. When you want to hurt a villain, when you want to bring pain to them, that's a good thing. And there were multiple times I wished I was Luffy. Like when I was just throwing King Kong guns at him. When I was like, it'd be so great if I could just destroy this guy, give him satisfaction. Now, I still think it was a great deal. Like he makes you hate him, he's sadistic, he's evil, he has a, an anime, his voice actor is a 10 out of 10 great Lloyd Dutcher for a villain. He's powerful. He has he, he and unlike most some other villains in one piece, I don't think all of them, he has an incredible backstory. Incredible. It's an incredible, incredible backstory. I love it. One of my personal favorites. I love Dopamingo backstory. But that's how he kills his own father, how he's a former celestial dragon and he leads it. I love it. He's a great he's a great character and I like him. But yeah, so this was my list of top 5 villains in One Piece. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And if you have any ideas for my next top 10, tell me in the comments section down below. But remember guys, above all else, have a great day. It's a One Piece Nation, signing out. Peace.